Welcome to the first episode of I Dream of Wise. I Dream of Wise wants to be and hopefully will be a series of videos regarding wise and specifically uh, some tips and tricks about wise, maybe some kind of hidden features in wise and uh, some workarounds that I was able to, to create in some projects I worked on. So in today's uh, video, we'll take a look at driving RTPCs via MIDI through Max. And uh, I came up with this thing uh, because I was working on this project. Uh, it's a game from a couple of years ago. And uh, there is this ambience background that changes according to the, to the time, to the, the hour of the day. So we've got this RTPC and uh, it goes from 0 to 24 and um, yeah as in many games the ambience changes according to to, to, the, to the time okay so what i wanted to to do was to listen to the other sounds i was working on while the ambience in background in the background changed and um, it was super uncomfortable to to keep changing this parameter using the mouse so what I did was using Max. I'm a Max user, so I tried to, to use it as often as possible. So the first thing to do is to go into um, the control surface devices, so project control surface devices, and insert Max as a device. So let's do it from scratch once again. Uh, we click on Add, and we type in Max. The, as the a device type, we'll select MIDI. There's the option also to use Mackie controls, but for this we'll use MIDI. And we want to receive from one of the MIDI ports that Max automatically creates, and this is the thing I love about Max. It creates this virtual MIDI ports inside of your computer. It's super cool. So yeah, now Max is connected and uh, it works. Make sure um, to open Max before you open WISE, so that WISE will be able to see these two ports from Max 1 and from Max 2. Okay, so we can close this window, and the next thing we'll do is uh, to go here in the Sessions tab in the Project Explorer, and I can delete this and create it from scratch. Okay, so uh, now in here we can create a new control surface. We have to stop this uh, in order to create it, and a new child. Um, control surface session and we'll call this as the project so pilgrims underscore control sur surface okay nice so let's double click on it and see what's inside this um, there's three groups global current selection and view groups and today we'll only talk about the global group because it's the one I'm gonna use with Max. And basically what global means is that our MIDI controller won't affect the current selection, but an object that we specify, okay? So be it an RTPC, be it an um, event, whatever. In this case, we want to always affect an RTPC, okay? First, we have to add and learn binding, okay? So this binding, is uh, uh, the binding that will tell WISE, uh, hey, WISE, listen on this uh, specific control change from this specific device, which is Max, and uh, listen uh, to it and uh, mm, transmit that change to the RTPC called OUR. So we can rename it and call it OUR. Okay. First, we have to go into Object Properties, then Game Syncs, then uh, game parameter and then simulation value okay simulation value allows us to tell why is the value of an rtpc okay and uh, in here we click on the three little dots and we are able to select the our rtpc which is what we want the last thing we have to do uh, is to specify what midi uh, control change we want um wise to listen to and here is when max comes into play so uh, we'll create a control out control out object that will work on the uh, from max one port and on channel one okay this is cool and we'll create a message just a test message that will be 127.1 which means uh, 
use the control change one and give it a value of 127. So let's see if it gets it. Nice, okay. As you can see, controller assignment is from max, the device called max, channel one, control change one, okay? Which is the modulation wheel, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now we want this to change constantly from zero to 127. And okay, the cool thing about this is that if we send zero, uh, it will, uh, okay, um, one other thing in here, w once we start using these uh, uh, control surfaces, this bar will pop up in Ys and it will show us what, what's going on basically. So it w if we um, send them a message of uh, zero, one, the simulation value will uh, stick to zero. If we send the maximum of a MIDI message, which is 127, it will snap to the maximum of the, of the RTPC. So as you can see, this is the our RTPC we're affecting and, and it goes from zero to 24. So if we send 127, it will go to 24. If we send something like 64, it will go to the middle, which is 12, okay? Nice, so we want this to cycle through 0 and 127, so we'll use the object called line, and uh, uh, yeah, the message will be 0, 127, so go from 0 to 127 in a specified amount of time, so we use dollar sign one, and we create an integer box in here, and in the integer box we want to uh, insert the, the time in milliseconds. Uh, we type like four seconds, 4,000. And yeah, this value goes from zero to 127 in four seconds. Nice, so it's working. And the only thing uh, that's left, well, it's not the only thing, but we need to append one, which means that we want to put a space and a one after the value that comes from this line. And uh, why is that? Because we want to um, send a c uh, two separate numbers. One is the value and the other one has to be the CC number, so one. So let's connect it and let's try again to send this message. So again, 4,000. And as you can see, Ys here is getting the simulation value. But what's going on here? Uh, the line stops after uh, it reaches the maximum and we want it to loop. So uh, a cool way of doing it is uh, by using the bang that uh, is triggered on the right outlet of the line object once the line is done and use that to re-trigger the, the message, okay? So this creates a loop. Let's try it again. And let's see here, it goes up to 24 and then it loops, super cool. But yeah, this would be infinite. So uh, it's always a good idea to uh, create a stop message and connect it to the line object. And when we want to stop, we just click on stop. Okay, so yeah, this was my way of uh, uh, auditioning. Well, let's audition it. Uh, this is it. It changes over time. Right now, of course, the change is super fast, but let's say we set it to 20 seconds. This makes much more sense. Okay, so this was my first video on the I Dream of Wise series, and I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you next time.